I've not done many miles on the Triumph since I did last uh, post on YouTube, mainly because the weather's been absolutely atrocious. But anyway, the good news is the pannier kit came and the panniers and they're all now fitted. The dealer quoted me 80 quid to fit them, although I have to say it takes about 30 minutes to fit them yourself. So I'm just going to walk you through now how to actually fit the pannier kit itself. So when you buy genuine Triumph accessories, you no longer get instructions with the parts when they arrive. What you get is um, a reference to this website, triumphinstructions.com. When you actually click on it, it opens up into this page. You then put your part number in, press search, select your language, Oop, and there they are. Fitting instructions, the panniers and the pannier mounting kit are all under the one set of um, part numbers. If you just type in the pannier part number, nothing comes up. Then scroll through, gives you everything you need to know about how you install the parts. I have to say, it's a bit extensive really, it's far more extensive than you need. Um, anybody with the basic tools can actually fit this kit themselves. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is take the seat off. Underneath the seat, if you look down, just here, you've got an Allen's key, another Allen screw there. Undo those two. That allows you to slide the under tray from underneath the mud guard. If you look, that's where the two screws hold into there. It just slides forward and comes out from underneath. You then fit your new under tray in, which is this item. Same thing, slide it in from that end forward. Then you've got four bolts which hold on the pannier brackets. Just be careful with this bolt here because the main Triumph harness runs quite close to the frame and you have to push the harness out the way before you can put that bolt in. If you don't push it out the way, what's going to happen is you're going to squeeze the harness or pinch the harness when you bolt tighten the bolt. Okay, under the seat, inside this little box, you'll find there are three of these. These are new key assemblies with a protective cover on them, as you can see. And these are what you need for your pannier. Okay, so what you do is put your key in the key assembly. That allows you to slide off the plastic cover. You then line it up over the hole and you push them in. They lock in the bottom and then they work fine. So, see, turn it pops off great put them on to clip it in dead easy pannier brackets are very neat it just clips down lock your pannier into these two and then clips in job done right so the triumph panniers come with this great little locking mechanism for locking the uh, zip tags um, to reset the code to whatever you want, they come factory set as 000. To reset them, just here at the side, there's a little pin push. Push it until it clicks, set whatever code you want, press the button, and it's reset. Simple as that. So push it in, set whatever number you want, and your key code is now reset. So, works really well, and the panniers look quite stylish on the bike. So literally 30 minute job, save yourself 80 quid, which what the deal is. The instructions you get off the Triumph website are quite extensive, fitting this pannier kit, and you can do it with mineral tools. Um, an Allen key, I think it's six milli, does the two bolts under the seat. A 12 milli spanner does the four nuts, sorry, bolts underneath the actual seat holder brackets on. And then all you need is something to actually reset the codes on the panniers themselves. Other than that, same 30 minute job, tops. Basic toolkit, anyone can do it. Just need the weather to improve now so we can get the bike out and have a bit more fun on it. Other than that, enjoy your triumph.